Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the exciting city of Yangon in Myanmar in Southeast Asia. I'm a couple of kilometers north from the city center and I'm visiting one of the most incredibly spectacular sites on our planet. This is Shuaragon Pagoda. A huge complex of temples, Buddha statues, stupas, you name it. One of the must see sites in the world. It's, this is the Machu Picchu of Asia, one of the holiest sites for for Buddhism. In this particular video we're going to walk around and admire the temples, the statues, and whatever else we can find along this incredible site. You're not going to believe what I'm going to show you now. Just watch the whole documentary. It is overwhelming at times that such beautiful sites exist on our planet and because they are in countries unknown countries like Myanmar they don't get as much advertisement come on let's go for a walk and let's enjoy everything that we're going to see okay my friends let's uh, start our tour of Shredagon Pagoda here in Yangon in Myanmar by visiting the southern entrance the main entrance to this magnificent site here in this exotic city this is a side view of the southern entrance you can see it's guarded by a giant mythical creature half lion half dragon which is about 30 meters in height. There's another one on the other side guarding the entrance. Okay, I paid for my ticket. It costs around seven dollars US in order to en enter Shwedagon. The huge statues of the mythical figures that we saw are right behind me, two of them guarding this entrance. And here we find a beautiful long hallway which is about 150 meters in length with beautiful columns as you can see painted in golden colors and they look beautiful early in the morning without all the crowds okay I have uh, made it through security I'm inside the main complex and here we find hundreds of smaller temples all around us surrounding the huge stupa in the back you can see right there covered in scaffolding The complex is built on top of a hill which rises for about 80 meters and the stupa right there rises over 100 meters in height and it contains 27 metric tons of gold sheets. You can see the gold sheets right there. Now let's uh, pause here for a few moments. And let's visit a couple of uh, the temples. Let's visit this one that has a statue of a reclining Buddha. Come on. And uh, now let's visit this temple. It's a 
beautiful temple here where, that contains several Buddha statues. I'm now walking around the stupa by walking on a clockwise direction. That's the proper way to walk around the stupa, which is to my right. And here we find many beautiful temples. Look at this one here. Absolutely spectacular. Here is a temple that we find around the stupa. There is four temples like this one around the stupa, pointing to the four directions. And these temples, the four temples have their own stupa, as you can see here. Let's get a close-up view so you can see how beautiful it looks the blue skies behind it. As I walk around the stupa, the main stupa, I find more and more beautiful temples. Look at this one in front of me. And that one as well. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's uh, come inside to one of the temples that we just saw from outside. And let's visit the statue of the sitting Buddha. What you see this lady doing here is she's pulling a rope and there's a fan right there above the head of the Buddha. That must have some symbolic significance. I'm now in a different area of the complex and once again we find beautiful temples all around us. Look at this one. Now this particular temple here contains many beautiful Buddha statues. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. Well, if you think that so far I have shown you beautiful, spectacular places here at Shwaragong Pagoda, wait until you see this. Here's a golden stupa, surrounded by other golden stupas as well. Foreigners are not allowed to enter this complex, but we can stay here at the entrance and admire this beautiful set of stupas shining in the sunshine. Spectacular, isn't it? Look at that.
Well, I am absolutely and definitely lost in this huge complex, which is about 150 acres in size, by the way. But you know what? It doesn't bother me that I got lost because it gives me a chance to explore rarely seen areas of this absolutely fascinating place. I find stupas and temples everywhere. And that's my advice to you. Don't get stuck on the details, the historic details that is about this complex, not as much. Don't worry about the historic details. Come here, walk around and take it all in. It, there's so much to see and to admire that you will be overwhelmed with the beauty of this site. Now before we move on, let's uh, take another view of this beautiful area of Shwaragon. Incidentally, the people that you see here, over 95% of them are locals. Entrance is free for them. Whereas for tourists, as I said, it's about $7 US. Well, it certainly is an overwhelming experience visiting this place. Everywhere that I go, I find beautiful temples and Buddha statues and I mean absolutely everywhere. Look at this beautiful site here. As I said, don't worry about the history and what every temple represents or every stupa. Just walk around and take it all in. Take a lot of photographs or videos, you're allowed to do so. Ignore the noise, it's a noisy place, and enjoy the sights. And go inside as many temples as you can. You may think that looking at Buddha statues could be a little bit, a little bit boring if you're not Buddhist. But every temple is different. The architecture is different, the layout is different of the interior, and each temple is just magnificent. Truly magnificent. I'm now in a different part of the complex. And once again, we find beautiful temples here. We can hear monks chanting, by the way. And here we find a beautiful, very unique building. This one in front of us. The architecture of this building is very, very different from all the other ones. It's got beautiful, colorful paintings on it. And uh, here is another temple with beautiful statues of Buddha. How many of these temples are around? Nobody has bothered to count. How many statues are here? Probably well under the thousands.
Okay, my friends, it is now time to say goodbye to Shwedagon Paya or Pagoda here in the beautiful city of Yangon in Myanmar in Southeast Asia. We visited one of the holiest sites for the Buddhists. We saw absolutely beautiful stupas, temples, hundreds of beautiful statues, and we had a great time. As quick advice, if you come to this incredible site, make sure you come on a sunny day. You see the beautiful scenes here with the blue skies behind the different structures and buildings of the site. So if you're in Yangon for several days, don't rush it. Come here when it's sunny. Bring a lot of water. It gets very hot. When the day started at 8 a.m., it was about 28 degrees Celsius by 11.30 became very hot. It was around 34 degrees Celsius. Don't bring shorts, don't wear shorts. I'm not gonna let you in and have a great time. Plan on being here for at least three to four hours, no less. And enjoy your visit. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. It's, it's been an incredible journey so far in Myanmar. Bye-bye.